Kendall kicked my butt this morning, but considering I'm gonna be on a plane for like hours and hours, it was worth it. As you are clearly able to tell, this was shot earlier in the year and I realized I forgot to post it. So we flew to JFK, went to the Amex Lounge. This is what you can expect in the Amex Lounge. This is the speakeasy bar in the Amex Lounge. Highly recommend going in here and getting one of the espresso martinis. Really enjoyed this lounge. We went into the Equinox studio in the lounge, did a little stretching and yoga before the flight. So unlike traveling to Italy or France, we didn't have to verify documents and stuff at the gate or get temp checked. So easy peasy, as long as you show your QR code and passport at your airport of check-in, you're pretty much good to go, at least from this point. Then it was time to fly. So we tried the premium select seats. This is a retrofitted cabin, so it was updated to have these seats. Um, it comes with the headphones like in Delta One. It's that crossover between Delta One and Comfort Plus. Some of the differences is you have more plugs that you can actually recline in this and there is part of the feet that do go up. This does come with supposedly a better amenity kit. We did not have it on the first flight, but we did get one on the home flight. So this first flight was very different than when we came home. Um, and when I say that, pretty much there was no difference between this and economy other than the seats themselves. The meals were the same. I will say they were the same going both ways, just so you know for reference. But this is what you can expect on a long haul flight in the evening. I believe our flight left around 8 or 9 p.m. I ended up getting the pasta. It wasn't bad. I mean, it's airplane food. The Delta One food, I will say lately Delta has been crushing. But overall, good flight, good seat. I would recommend the 222 lineup, though, for premium. Okay, so getting through security was really easy. I think we're the only flight in right now. Um, customs is per normal. The barcode check is after security. And I'd like to say it was easy. <laughs> it was just easy for me. I think Jeff was selected for a random COVID test. So we'll see how this pans out. Jeffrey doesn't have COVID, so yeah. hooray. Barcelona Jeff has found a cerveza. So we're staying at the edition Barcelona. I'll link it down below. If you're a Bomb Boy fan, I can already tell you need to be here. This is our hotel room at the, dish, at the edition hotel. Now keep in mind, the edition hotels are a luxury brand. The theme is luxury minimalism. So very high end finishes, but not super over the top. This is the rooftop restaurant. This is also where the pool is. It was February, so we were not in there. Even though the weather was in the high 60s. Um, this was my first time trying vermouth because we did a little siesta, took a nap. And this is in the restaurant bar area in the lobby of the hotel. Vermouth was interesting. Um, I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. But it was somewhere in between. We even had Jeff try it and he kind of agreed with me. Now keep in mind there are different styles of vermouth who so do not swear off all of it just based on one um you know you gotta you gotta try it so one of the great things we loved about the addition as well is that right around the corner there were a couple great restaurants there was this little italian place that these are where the patatas bravas are from the lasagna was great this is blau cafe amazing and next door was a seafood place which was absolutely amazing okay yep no cabeza. One moment, please. <laughs> 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 Can you 
<laughs> Jeffrey, go suck it. <laughs> suck it, Jeffrey, suck it. Do you feel weird doing it? Yeah. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.